same violence as another kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's get into the video. And now to breaking news, a game room robbed overnight and during the chaos, a security guard was shot and killed. Houston. All right, guys, so um, had to stop it right there. The security guards are not strapped, okay? They're not armed. They're, they're useless. And a lot of these security guards have a stand down policy and this is why, because people and business owners know that super gremlins, if they see that the security guard is not armed, they will, in fact, kill that security guard to get off with whatever they're trying to rob. Houston police say this happened just before one o'clock this morning on Long Drive. Police are getting a warrant to search that game room today. So far, no word on an arrest. Houston police say a security guard was killed during a robbery at a game room overnight. This is a new video from the scene on Long near Wayside. That's in southeast Houston. One person has been taken into custody, but police aren't saying if that person is a suspect or not. We'll let you know what we learned. Now back to that breaking news we've been following all morning. A security guard was killed in what police say was an attempted robbery in southeast Houston. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan joining us live from the scene along Long Road and Belk with new details in that investigation. Rowan. Hey, good morning. Police just confirmed to us that this seemingly abandoned building is in fact used as an illegal game room. Plus, they tell now. Wow. So this is a thing. Um not only in Houston, but in California as well, where they will take these abandoned buildings and basically put up slot machines so people can gamble and, you know, you collect money. It's it's a hustle, okay? And, and there's a lot of money that flows through these illegal game rooms, but there are also a lot of super gremlins who frequent these game rooms, okay? And, and it can easily end like this, especially if the security guard is not armed. I believe multiple men were involved in this attempted robbery. They think between four and five men. Now, this all unfolded earlier this morning, just before one o'clock. Investigators, along with forensic scientists, are inside this building now after receiving a signed search warrant to get indoors. Now, again, this happened just before one o'clock at the intersection of Long and Belk in Southeast. Houston police believe multiple men jumped a fence at, in an attempt to rob the building. It's unclear what happened next, but at one point, police say one of the men shot a security guard, the guard taken to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. And the four males uh, ended up running and fleeing the scene on foot, um, and uh, we had got multiple tips uh, from witnesses giving us information that we'll be putting out later as we're still trying to gather uh, video surveillance on that. But uh, we do know that there's approximately four to five males that were involved in this. Four to five super gremlins, you mean? Okay. Uh, those surveillance video they're trying to get are from these cameras directly outside the building itself. There are at least three that we've counted on this side of the building here, trying to look at the surveillance video to get a better picture and a look of the men they believe are involved in this attempted robbery that leaves a security guard dead. Live in Southeast Houston, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News. First tonight, the story of a high school coach being jumped by students. The incident led to their arrest today and also spilled over into social media threats. Guys, I am telling you when it comes to these schools in the community, it's a no go. You have a high school baseball coach being jumped by middle schoolers on demon time. Jason Miles is live outside Lingham Creek High School in Northwest Houston with new details for us tonight. Jason. Hey there, Mia. Yeah, these suspects are middle schoolers. The principal here at Langham Creek High School had some strong words about the incident that happened behind the school in an athletic area. 
In this video shared on social media, an adult appears to struggle to defend himself against at least four attackers. Woo! Look at these super gremlins go. Ha! <laughs> they came hard. All right, and, and, and this is why teachers don't want to teach anymore. This is why they want to go virtual because they know that they are putting their livelihoods and lives at risk dealing with these super gremlins on a regular basis. All while others record the incident. Multiple sources say the adult is a Langham Creek High School baseball coach, harassed, chased, and struck last night after asking a number of middle schoolers to leave the practice area. Woo! So the universal law is that if you are going to tell a super gremlin to leave anywhere, you better be leaving right after you tell them that or be ready to face all of the smoke because you cannot tell a super gremlin nothing. Y'all know that Kanye saying, uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing with Jeezy. This is how these super gremlins are, bro. You cannot discipline them. You cannot correct them. You can't give them instruction. You can't give in, in, impart wisdom onto them. This is the community, y'all, in full effect. Just crazy, like, they're middle schoolers, you know, like, they're not supposed to be doing that, and especially, like, jumping a coach. Like, they have to have some respect. I saw a lot of videos about it on Snapchat, and... They're all smiling and laughing. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you, a lot of these women enable it. I don't know. I, I was surprised that they were middle schoolers. And it's like, when I was in middle school, I didn't know anyone that was doing stuff like that. According to this letter shared with the Langham Creek community, the principal who calls the incident extremely unacceptable adds the juveniles were taken into custody. And, and the funny thing is, people would be mad if a resource officer, seeing what was happening, jumped on these little, little super gremlins and gave them that work. People would be upset. Man, you hitting a child in middle school. It's ridiculous. We'll face discipline as SciFair ISD police investigate. The letter says the students attend nearby Aragon Middle School where administrators helped identify them. I think the world. Wow, so these kids are coming from a whole nother school. And, and the demographics at Langham Creek, 50% um, burrito gremlin, 21% uh, glider gremlin, and 17% super gremlin okay so they do have a you know decent super gremlin uh population but majority is a burrito gremlin but at aragon let me see aragon middle school let's see what they looking like so at aragon it's 42 percent hispanic 15 percent super gremlin um and 29 percent glider gremlin so, I mean, what can you say? <laughs> Obviously, in the video, we can see that it's the Super Grimmins. Okay, the Super Grimmins were jumping the teacher. Obviously. And they're coming from a different school, so they feel like, they feel untouchable. It's almost like um, when, you're, when you're getting chased by the police and then you leave a county and, and they can't chase you because it's out of their jurisdiction. This is how these Super Grimmins feel when they go to another school. They feel like they can act however they want and act the fool and do whatever they want to anybody because they're at another school and you can't discipline me because you ain't my school. Not understanding that the whole school district <laughs> engulfs all of these schools. So they're thinking that their discipline comes from the school when it really comes from the school district and what the district as a whole allows, um, you know, to be taking place at these schools. So it's almost like the the you ain't my daddy syndrome where, okay, I'm going to act up when when stepdad's here, but when my real dad's here, I'm going to, you know, fly straight. Identify them. I think the world's crazy and parents need to control their kids more. You mean super gremlin parents need to control their kids more? She's right, though. The world's crazy. The world's crazy. And I'm going to tell you what, these parents are not... They ain't finna do nothing. They don't think their kids did anything wrong, honestly. 
I'm going to tell you that right now. These kids are not facing discipline when they go home, only from the school district. Period. Is that the bottom line? I think so, because if you raise your children right, they shouldn't be doing this crap. I'm told social media threats that arose today at Langham Creek were posted by some of the same juveniles or those who know them. And as a result, parents showed up to get their children while others left early. Self-snitching. Self-snitching. Like everyone was calling their parents. I called my parents to go home. She let me, she told me I could leave school. A school where the principal says they will continue to work diligently for a safe environment for all students and staff. And I reached out to the coach said to be involved in this incident, but have yet to hear back. All of this, uh, as I mentioned, still under investigation. And how embarrassing for that coach. I mean, you know, and I don't even blame him for running. Those kids are as, just as big as he is. And that's the scariest thing. Gation. Meantime, uh, SciFair ISD Superintendent Mark Henry shared a message to the SciFair community today via social media. The topic? campus safety. You can read more on that and see more of the video on KHOU.com. For now, reporting live from Langham Creek, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Investigation still underway, but it all appears so very unsettling. Jason, thank you. A chase and beatdown on the Langham Creek High School campus caught on cell phone video yesterday. Wow. And that, that, <laughs> that teacher is pretty fast because these super gremlins are booking it. Imagine the fear that's going through his heart right now. The adrenaline that's rushing through his veins. I mean, this guy was haul tailing it. SciFair ISD officials say that the attackers are four students from Aragon Middle School. Students here at the high school say that the... You hear them. They're blanking out the N-word. They're blanking out all these curse words. You see, they're super gremlins, so don't be in my comments. How you know they were super gremlins, bruh? They snitched on themselves for one, and it's on video. They literally filmed this to put it on social media to get clout. I'm telling you. The victim is a baseball coach who told the middle school kids that they could not ride dirt bikes on campus. These dudes were riding dirt bikes on campus. <laughs> and then the community activists, the hoteps, would say, well, if y'all just had a skate park, for the super gremlins to go and ride their dirt bikes in. No, what would happen is the skate park would be shot up and there would be caution tape around the skate park every week. They would just transfer the activities that they're doing at these schools and in the streets to that skate park. The skate park would literally be the trap. Later that day, they got arrested and their older friends uh, threatened to shoot up our school. So so these middle schoolers are hanging with guys who are way past their age, who have access to weapons, and they said they they were going to scoot up, uh, shoot up the schools. <laughs> so much for these school shootings being majority white kids. These super gremlins were going to do a drive-by on a middle school. Drive-by on a high school. They they would do a drive by on an elementary school if it happened at the elementary school. This is what I'm I'm telling you this. My fair ISD officials say a threat made through social media resulted in beefed up security and safety measures on campus today. We couldn't walk around unless we had an ID badge. They wouldn't even let us in. I have athletics for period, so I don't have it on. And my teacher wouldn't let me in unless I put it on. Students say that the coach was not at school today. SciFair ISD officials sent a letter to parents saying that the juveniles who attacked him were taken into custody and will be disciplined according to the code of conduct. The fact that these are middle schoolers. Middle school super gremlins. Imagine. Imagine what they're going to be like in five years. Just imagine. Concerned parents. This just shouldn't be happening. Not in our own backyard. Want swift action. That just cannot happen. These kids definitely need to get in a whole lot of trouble. And I, it's, I'm just speechless. Gang violence and all the kind of 